Hi everyone, Harsha here from the Malaysian Youth Movement Ascendants. This year, we've had the honor and privilege of interviewing phenomenal young change makers from across the world. These are youngsters who, even though still go to school, have already begun solving problems like climate change, reforming education in their countries, and generally being leaders and pioneers of their industries. We've been able to interview them on our online web series, Say What? with Ascendants so that we can document these amazing stories and help inspire other youngsters around the world. So this is a snippet of one of the young change makers that we interviewed this year. this young change maker Tracy who actually started her own social startup called Kids Finance with Tracy that helps students within the age 5 to 16 actually learn about all of those things while they are still in school. So they have a series of flashcards which help students learn about this. They conduct programs on uh, finance and money and all of these things and they basically empower hundreds and thousands of students in Tanzania within these ages 5 to 16, which is very, very young, to learn about financial literacy. So you started the Instagram page and you like um, began yes. like, posting about it and yes. things like that. And then you came up with this idea for flashcards. So how did you even start it? How did you get people interested in getting the flashcards and all of that in the beginning? When I, at first when we launched out the flashcards, we only got only three people bought them. Then I was starting to losing hope. I was starting to lose hope that the business would even go on. Every normal, they're not normal, but like most ten-year-olds outside, they're playing, they're running around. This is not something a ten-year-old does. Why did you choose to do this? I chose to do this because I wanted others, every other kid, to have a better future and to know about money and finance with and business. Every kid should know about saving. After they they can start saving by doing chores, they talk to their parents for paying them for each chore they do or for each book they read. And they discuss how much they're gonna pay them. And then from each chore or each book they read, they can start using that money to save. But why is it important to save? Like I know it's such a controversial question. But if you're a kid, your parents can buy you anything. So why do you, why should you start saving? It's important to save so that you can learn how, you can learn at the same time how to spend money and you can teach yourself a balance of spending and saving. I saw you talking about it in a video. I find it very cool how you said the three-legged piggy bank is about saving. One is just for saving. One is for you to spend and buy stuff and one was for you to be giving back. I find that so cool because nobody ever thinks about saving money to give back. Why do you Why do you say that? I say that because from our religions, it's good so that we give it to where we pray, most school church, or you can give it to the poor because God will help us and we'll earn more money than we than we have. You're very wise for a 10 year old. <laughs> like, it's yeah, true. And it's what kind of like around, you, yeah, yeah, like when you, the more you give, the more you get. I think that's very nice and it's very important that people need to know that from the beginning when they say. So there you have it. The Say What of Ascendance web series is an online interactive web series that helps everyday youngsters to be aware of themselves, listen to the stories of all these amazing change makers and help them to achieve their own personal goals. If you are a youngster who is a change maker and would like to be interviewed on this platform, do reach out to us. And for all the youngsters out there who want to be amazing change makers, do sign up for the Say What with Ascendants web series at www.ascendancepro.com/slash say what and be a part of building a better future for the world.